Hey, can I tell you a secret? The secret to getting a great shave without any nicks, cuts, or irritation isn't three or four blades, a soap strip, or a swivel head. It's just supporting the blade. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just supporting the blade. Don't let it flex or bend. That's the secret to limiting shaving irritation. At Henson Shaving, we use our 20 years of aerospace manufacturing to keep the blade from moving. It's not the coolest answer, but it's the right one. To learn more and to get 100 blades for free, go to hensonshaving.com slash holiday. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. It's time for My Favorite Husband, starring Lucille Ball. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yes, it's the Gay Family Series, starring Lucille Ball with Richard Denning. Transcribed and brought to you by the Jell-O family of Red Letter Desserts. Oh, the big red letters stand for the Jell-O family. Oh, the big red letters stand for the Jell-O family. That's Jell-O. Yum, yum, yum. Jell-O pudding. Yum, yum, yum. Jell-O cap. The the pudding gets hurried. And now Lucille Ball with Richard Denning as Liz and George Cooper. Two people who live together and like it. As we look in on the Coopers tonight, Liz and George are entertaining George's boss, Mr. Atterbury, and his wife, Iris. Dinner is over, and the foursome is in the living room. Another demi-tasse, Mr. Atterbury. Please, Liz. What happened to the demi-tasse Liz just poured for you? You didn't drink it. Uh, No, it disappeared into that lump of sugar at the bottom of the cup. (laughs) Wait, I'll get you a man-sized cup, Mr. Atterbury. No, no, never mind. This will do. Iris, what are you going to wear to the play at the women's club? I may not go. I haven't a thing to wear. I haven't a single thing to put on myself. I may not go either. Well, you could always wrap a towel around you and make a run for it. (laughs) Rudolph, this is a big problem. Oh, I know, dear. We have the same problem, don't we, boy? Mercy, yes. What are you going to wear, Mr. Atterbury? I may not even go. (laughs) Okay, okay. You never seem to get tired of that stale routine. Just get it all out of your system in time for the play Saturday night. Saturday night? Well, we can't go to any play Saturday night. I should say not. Why? The Jolly Rovers are having their annual stag party Saturday night. Well, can't they have it some other night? I should say not. We always have our stag party the Saturday before Christmas. Well, how can you pass up a perfectly wonderful play put on by the women's club for a lousy old stag party? We force ourselves. (laughs) I think it's terrible having a big wild stag party just before Christmas. It's not a big wild stag party. (laughs) It's our yearly dinner where we give presents to all the newsboys in town. Ha! (laughs) We really do. We even have a Santa Claus who hands out the presents. Santa Claus. Oh, they do, Iris. A cute little blonde Santa Claus who jumps out of a cake. (laughs) All right, Liz. You see, it's a switch. The Jolly Rovers sit down and Santa Claus sits on their lap. (laughs) Untrue. We're having a real man Santa Claus. No. Yes. His costume is in the hall closet. He's picking it up tomorrow. Well, if it's that kind of a party, why can't we go? Yeah! (laughs) Well, it's a rule, that's all. Yeah, that's all. (laughs) No women allowed. No women. Well, then who's going to jump out of the cake? A wire-haired fox terrier? (laughs) No one is jumping out of the cake. 
Oh, by the way, where's my Jolly Rover hat? That stocking cap with a pom-pom on it? Oh, George, that hat makes you look like one of the seven dwarfs. <laughs> it's our official Jolly Rover hat. Now find it. I hope you haven't mislaid my hat, Iris. Don't worry. I know just where it is, dopey. <laughs> Lotus bud. Don't pay any attention to them, Mr. Atterbury. They're just sore heads because we won't let them come to the Jolly Rover stag. Would you care to join me upstairs, Iris? Uh, what for, girl? We're going to design official hats for us jolly sore heads. <laughs> I just stopped by on my way from the market. Well, come on in. I just finished pressing George's Jolly Rover hat. <laughs> Every time I think of our husbands going to a stag party to ogle dancing girls, it makes my blood boil. But, Iris, they said it was a party for the newsboys and there wouldn't be any girls there. You don't think they were lying, do you? Yes, so do I. <laughs> Let's face it, girl, they're going to have a big, wild spree. Now, what are we going to do about it? What can we do? I know. Let's have our own stag party. Or rather, we'll have a doe party. Yeah! We'll invite all the girls, and we'll have a table with a big cake on it. And in the middle of the evening, the cake will burst open, and a man will jump out. <laughs> okay. What else will we do? Well, we'll sit around and smoke cigars and tell each other stories we've heard before. <laughs> no, I don't think I like that. Nah, me either. Apparently, a stag party isn't as much fun when a doe does it. Yeah, let's forget about it. Let them go to their old party. Gee, I'd like to fool them. Do you suppose there's any way we could sneak in? Nah. Nah. The only way would be to dress up in men's clothes. We never get away with that. Nah, we never get away with that. It's absolutely out of the question. Yeah. Which do you want to wear? George's gray pinstripe or his blue serge? <laughs> oh, girl, do we dare? Well, it's worth a try. Now, let's get dressed and see how we look. Okay. If we look enough like men, we might be going to our first stag party Saturday night. <laughs> Look in George's gray flannel suit. Right out of Esquire. Is it, oh, but look at your lumpy shoulders. Hmm? Did, did, did you leave the hanger in your coat? <laughs> no, these are George's shoulders. <laughs> well, doesn't he take them to work with him? <laughs> I'm afraid not. George stops at the lapels. <laughs> How disillusioning. Well, uh, how does this coat look on me? It's um, too big, isn't it? No, no. Here's your necktie. Oh, thanks. Well, take it. Wait a minute. I know my hand's up this sleeve somewhere. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, hey, come here. There's something white hanging out of your trouser leg. Oh, must be the lining. Rip it out, will you? All right. <laughs> oh, let go, Iris. You're choking me. That's my shirt tail. <laughs> Do you think we could get by at a stag party with these clothes on? Well, you could fool me. Well, you could fool me, too, but we better try it out on some impartial observers. How? Well, we'll walk down the street and see if anyone notices. Ooh, wait a minute. we got to wear something on our head. Oh, yes. After all, how many men have hair the color of mine? <laughs> As a matter of fact, how many women have hair? <laughs> oh, just never mind. Anyway, we don't have to worry. We'll be wearing Jolly Rover hats at the party. Oh, that's right. Here, we'll just put on a couple of George's hats for now. Here's one for you. Come on, let's see if anyone spots it.
Just walk along like we're two men. Okay. Oh, I feel so silly. <laughs> Say, here comes someone we don't know. I'll ask him the time. Good idea. Hey, bud. Yeah? You got the time? Sure, it's uh, quarter to three. Thanks a lot, Mac. Perfectly welcome, madam. <laughs> Darn it, how'd you know I was a woman? Well, that's hard to say. It could be the way you walk. It might have been the lipstick you have on, but I... I think the real reason is that you're the first man I ever saw carrying a purse. <laughs> Come on, Iris, let's go home. to be back in our own clothes again, isn't it? Well, I'll say. <laughs> Feels wonderful to be able to straighten up. What do you mean? Well, George's socks hung down over my shoes, so I hooked them onto my girdle. <laughs> I thought you looked bent over. <laughs> I guess we're not going to make it to the Jolly Rover stag. Too bad. I'm dying to see what makes those tired old rovers so jolly. <laughs> Must be some way, Iris. I'm not going to give up. I am. I wonder if we could both fit in the cake. Ha. <laughs> huh? I mean, as long as we can't pretend to be men, maybe we can pretend to be women. What? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. We could go as dancing girls. Personally, I think we're better qualified to go as men. <laughs> well, there must be some way to get in. There's only one way left. We'll put icing on our heads and go as the cake. <laughs> oh, stop. You may have given up, Iris, but I haven't. I wonder who that can be. Yes? Hello, are you Mrs. Cooper? That's right. Uh, Mr. Cooper sent me out to pick up my Santa Claus suit. Oh, yes, he mentioned it. It's right here in the hall. Wait a minute. A Santa Claus suit? Yeah, hey, that's right. With uh, long whiskers and a white mustache? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I'll tell you, the party has been called off. Oh, are you sure? Positive. But they already paid me. Oh, that's all right. You just keep the money. Oh, gee, thanks. And uh, Merry... Uh, uh, Christmas. Uh, Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell. Liz, 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 what did you do that for? Now they won't have any Santa Claus at the stag. Oh, yes, they will. Well, how do you figure? Who will it be? Ho, ho, ho. Sit on my lap and tell me what you want for Christmas, little girl. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> You know, crashing a party can cause a lot of commotion sometimes. Haven't you had unexpected guests drop in and stay for dinner and you were at wit's end as to what to serve? Well, good news. You can whip out a grand and glorious jello dessert in jig time now with this swell new quick setting way to prepare it. Just dissolve your jello in one cup of hot water. Then add one cup of ice cubes or crushed ice, filling the cup to the brim with water. Stir until ice melts completely and chill firm in the refrigerator. And in just about one short hour, you have a beautiful finished jello dessert all ready to set on the table. It's a big boon for this busy holiday season. And all six delicious jello flavors fit right into the holiday mood. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. Bursting with rich fruit-like flavor and sparkling with gay Christmas color. So look for those big red letters on the box. They spell jello, and jello stands for red letter desserts. J-E-L-L-O And now back to Lucille Ball in My Favorite Husband. <laughs> A 
As we look in on the Coopers again, Liz has just sent away the man who was to have played Santa Claus at the Jolly Rover's stag party by telling him the party was called off. Then she broke the news to Iris that she planned to sneak in as Santa herself. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, all you jolly old rovers! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, Liz, that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> They'll never recognize you in a Santa Claus suit. Of course not, and we'll be able to see the whole party. Yeah, we'll be at the... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what do you mean, we? Where am I, up on the roof holding the reindeer? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Well, Iris, let's face it. We both can't go. They'd get suspicious if there were two Santa Clauses. Well, okay, but why should you go? I'm shaped more like Santa Claus than you are. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Iris, the Santa Claus outfit is in my closet, and possession is nine points of the suit. You stinker. <laughs> you got me on a technicality. Good. Come on, help me get dressed. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Well, do you Jolly Rovers know any good stories? Mmm. Now, what's the matter with this car? Oh, no, I'm running out of gas. Oh, thank goodness I'm near a station. Good evening. Five gallons of gas, please. Okay, and uh, how about some hay for your reindeer? What? Oh, <laughs> I forgot I had on the Santa Claus suit. Hey, wait a minute. Your voice sounds familiar. I know you're Mrs. Cooper. That's right, and I'm in a big hurry, please. Okay, five gallons of gas. Yes, and charge it. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cooper. No more credit until you pay me for the last fender I fixed. But I can't pay you for the fender yet. I haven't told George about it. I'm four fenders behind on my telling. <laughs> I'm sorry. No more credit. But I have to have that gas. Well, don't you have any money with you? No, I left my wallet in my other pants, uh, purse. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Cooper. Oh, dear. What'll I do? Oh, wait a minute. Noah's department store is just across the street. They'll give me some money. Okay, I'll have your sleigh all ready to go when you get back. <laughs> Oh, Santa Claus, I've been looking for you everywhere. You certainly took a long enough dinner hour. Oh, well, now, wait. Never mind I... the alibis. Just get over to that toy department. There's a line of kids a block long waiting for you. Look, if you'll just let me explain, I'm not really Santa Claus. Shh. I... You want the youngsters to hear you? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Hey, wait a minute. Your voice sounds funny. Have you been drinking? <laughs> of course not. Look, I am not Stop Santa Claus. Stop saying that. Get into that toy department. And for heaven's sakes, in your condition, don't breathe on the children. <laughs> Listen, if you make me talk to all these children, you'll be sorry. If you don't talk to them, you'll be sorry. Now, you get up in that chair and... <laughs> Hello, Sonny. Tell Santa Claus what you want. Hi, Santa Claus. Hello, little boy. Ho, ho, ho. What would you like for Christmas? Well, I just told you yesterday. You got a lousy memory. <laughs> an electric train, but they cost too much dough for my old man. Not at all, Sonny, not at all. Miller's department store is going to give every kid an electric train free. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, Sandy, what are you saying? Not only that, every child is going to get a free bicycle and a bicycle. free wagon and a BB gun for boys and a doll for the girls and skates and candy all from Miller's free. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, Sandy, it's time for your dinner hour again. And to the parents, Miller's is going to give a free washing machine and a new car mm -hmm. and a free lawnmower. Cook the hand off my mouth. Who do you think you are, Santa Claus? <laughs> I told you you'd be sorry. Even I told you you'd be sorry. You're fired. You can't fire me. I don't work here. And what are you doing here in the store? I'm Mrs. George Cooper, and I'm trying to cash a check. Fat chance after all the trouble you've caused us. Miller's is also giving free to every child I... in the world. A complete right. playhouse. All right. A pony. All right, all right. We'll cash a check anything. Only get out of our store. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. What's that? Merry Christmas. Same to you. <laughs> All right, men, 
All right, all right. It's time to start the program for our annual Jolly Rovers Christmas party. Now, we've all had a good dinner. Now, we'll turn our attention to the uh, <laughs> fun part of the evening. Uh, George, has Santa Claus arrived yet? Yes, he just got here. Oh, good, good. I've just had word from my scouts at the North Pole that Santa Claus is just driving up in front of the building with his reindeer. And there he is coming in the back of the hall now. Let's give him a big welcome. Hey, Santa Claus! <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hello, Santa Claus. Glad you finally got here. Have a chair. I hope I haven't missed any of the uh, show. <laughs> no, no, we're just about ready to start. Oh, good. Originally, we were going to start our program with a dance. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let me get a seat down front. Uh. <laughs> but unfortunately, our dancer had a little accident. What happened? She get her foot caught in the icing? <laughs> what? Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> well, like I was saying, our dancer Jim Andrews sprained his ankle and won't be able to do his tap dance tonight. Tap dance? Jim? Yes, yes. I'm sorry you didn't get to see him, Santa. Yep, too bad. <laughs> And now, man, I'm reminded of a little story. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> I'm all ears. Give us a hot story. Hot story? Let me get over here close so I can hear better. What's that? Santa dropped something. I did? What is it? It's a lipstick. <laughs> it is? I mean... It is? Well, uh... Oh, I know... Probably belongs to Rudolph, my red lip reindeer. <laughs> what? Merry Christmas! <laughs> <clears throat> to, uh, to get on with my story. Yep, yep. It all begins with a traveling salesman. Hot dog! <laughs> This traveling salesman met a newsboy in our city of Sheridan Falls one night. The salesman was broke, and this newsboy lent him enough money for food and lodging. Years later, when the traveling salesman became successful, he organized the Jolly Rovers to help out newsboys everywhere. And that's why we are meeting here tonight. Well, go on. That's all. That's all? You never got to the farmer's daughter. <laughs> There's no farmer's daughter in this story. There isn't? No, no. And now for your big moment, Santa. We're going to bring in the newsboys from the next room, and you'll hand out the presents. What? I mean... What? You really are giving presents to newsboys? Yes, that's what you're here for. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Santa, oh. Santa, what, what's the matter? You look strange. Are you sick? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's it. I'm sick. I better go lie down. Oh, well, all right. Uh, somebody take Santa to the men's locker room and... Oh. <laughs> we'll give out the presents when he feels better. Men's locker room. Uh, uh, you there. Uh, come here. Here, here. Uh, fella, help Santa down to the locker room, please. Uh, well, I, um... Uh... Look, mister, I don't think I need to go to the men's locker room. I'm, uh, I'm feeling a lot better now. You run along, run along. Really, I can get there myself. Wait a minute, mister. I can't go through that door. Might as well confess. I'm a woman. I've done a terrible thing. I came here dressed to Santa Claus to see what a stag party was like. I didn't know they were really going to give presents to little newsboys. See, I couldn't face those kids. I'm so ashamed. Are you going to turn me in? Are you? Well, say something. How do we get out of here, girl? <laughs> Iris? Well, you're not the only one masquerading as a man. Oh, Iris, I love you. Come on, let's get out of here, boy. Ah, Bob, 
Yes, Lucille, where do we go tonight? Tonight, Robert, we go to darkest Africa. I am a British lady on a hunting expedition with my husband, and you are our number one boy. A little African music, please, Wilbur. Saeed, Saeed, quick, wild rhinoceros is charging on camp. Oh, I say, Chumley. Yes, Penelope. <laughs> There's a wild rhino charging on the camp. Oh, what a crashing ball. <laughs> no, it's a charging rhino. Saeed, Saeed, quick, get drunk. Rhino is at gate. I say, Penelope. <laughs> yes, Jumley. How about a spot of tea? <laughs> We're not having tea today, Jumley. No tea. <laughs> no tea. <laughs> Saeed, Saeed, the rhino. No tea. <laughs> That's right, old bean. We're having something much better. Better than tea? <laughs> Rather. <laughs> We're having jello. Look, look, the rhino. Jello. <laughs> With the flavor that's locked in and can't get out till your first delectable spoonful. Look, Saeed, the rhino coming toward us. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Jello that comes in six delicious flavors. And all you do is look for the big red letters on the box. The rhino, the rhino. <laughs> Well, look, I say, old girl, if we have jello, what flavor shall it be? Well, strawberries, jolly. Ooh, rather. <laughs> Quick, Sahib, your gun. On the other hand, raspberry might be tasty. And then the... Oh, by Jove, I forget the other flavors. You know what they are, Chumley. Indubitably. Let's see. Uh, strawberry. Yes. Raspberry. Yes. Cherry. Orange. Yes. Lemon. And... Uh... The rhino drags Zaheem in the underbrush! <laughs> What beastly luck. He hadn't given me the last flavor. <laughs> Lime! <laughs> oh, good show, Chumley, good show. Sahib's gone. I know. Whenever he talks about Jello, he gets carried away. <laughs> I miss Sahib. Well, chin up, pip, pip, chilly old. He's gone, but what a way to go right between lemon and lime. You have been listening to My Favorite Husband, starring Lucille Ball with Richard Denning, and based on characters created by Isabel Scott Rorick. Tonight's transcribed program was produced and directed by Jess Oppenheimer, who wrote the script with Madeline Pugh and Bob Carroll, Jr., Original music was composed by Marlon Skiles and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. Henry, and on our honeymoon, too. But gosh, honey, the new improved instant is really different. Sure thing. Just look at the new richer coffee color. Taste the new full-bodied real coffee flavor. Discover how much less instant Sanka costs. And did you know the makers of instant Sanka make the only caffeine-free coffee? The kind that can't affect anybody's nerves or sleep. Try the new Instant Sanka. It's wonderful. 
Be sure to listen to Lucille Ball in My Favorite Husband again next week, presented by... Oh, the big red letters stand for the Jell-O family. Oh, the big red letters stand for the Jell-O family. That's Jell-O. Yum, yum, yum. Jell-O pudding. Yum, yum, yum. Jell-O cat. The yolk of pudding gets buried. The name Jell-O is a registered trademark of General Foods. Bob Lamont speaking. This is CBS, where you hear my favorite husband every Saturday evening, the Columbia Broadcasting System. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.